Hi, my name is Rodrigo Kamein. I'm a software developer for Saber Travel Network. Today we're going to see how to build a Nudge Red App. Before we start, let me just show you what the Nudge is. The Nudge is an inline messaging mechanism which will allow agencies to broadcast information to influence travel agents with indirect suggestions. This is available for air, hotel, and car shopping. I'm going to do an availability, an air availability on my Saber screen. And the nudge is going to show a text to influence the travel agent that there's more offers in the Las Vegas destination. To start our project, we will go to File, New, Plugin Project. Select the project name. Select Next. And Next again. Uncheck the option Create a Plugin using one of the templates. And select Finish. This is going to create a plugin skeleton or an empty plugin project, which will be the base of our Nudge Red App. The Nudge is a workflow extension exposed by the Red App SDK. To see all available workflow extensions, please go to the official documentation under Documentation, Index.html. Under Workflow Extensions, Exposed Workflow Extension Points. Under Dynamo.nudge, this is the configuration that we'll need to map to build the Nudge Red App. Our first step is to go to the Dependency tab inside our manifest.mf file and add the following dependencies. com.saber.edge.dynamo.ext.cdm and com.saber.edge.dynamo.redapp.cdm These two dependencies will give us access to a data flow object that will be passed when the nudge is executed by Saber Red. The next step is to create a package inside our code called nudge services. Inside this package, first we will create a new interface under File New Interface. And we will name this Nudge Init Service. This interface should have one public method that returns the following object flow extend point command. The name by convention should be execute and it should also receive by parameter the same type of object flow extend point command next we will create a class that implements the interface that we have just created. I will name this nudge init service imp as an implementation. This class will only have one method execute that will return a flow extent point command I'm going to return the same object that I'm receiving as a parameter. Inside this method will be our actions to execute when the nudge initiates. And we're going to see how to map that in the following steps. In my project that I have in my workspace, the first thing that I will need to do is in my dependencies tab, add the following two dependencies com.saber.edge.dynamo.x 
.cdm and com.saber.edge.dynamo.redapp.cdm. Next, I will need to have a package that will have a class and an interface for when the nudge is initiated. If you check the sample code, this will be my interface is I nudge init. This will have only one public method that returns an object of the type flow extend point command and also receives an object of the same type flow extend point command. I will then have a class that implements the interface. This is named nudge init. This class will have one method, execute, that receives a flow extend point command and also returns the same object, extend point command. Inside this class will be the actions that we take when the nudge is initiated. In our example, we will be checking a local JSON file for the destination of two cities. If the destination is either Las Vegas, LAS, or New York, NYC, we will trigger the nudge with a text message for the agent to see. After I've created my interface and my class for the init action of the nudge, I need to map this configuration in my plugin XML file. In this case, the file is represented in the following tab, extensions. I will need to add the following extension point com.saber.edge.dynamo.flow.flowextendpoint.registry By selecting new flow extension point, I will map my configuration. Our configuration will have a flow ID dynamo.nudge an extension point ID nudge init command and a callback service. The callback service will be the fully qualified name of our interface so package dot interface name colon the name of the function which in our case is execute. The next step is to create a folder OSGI dash inf inside our project. Inside this folder create a XML file in this case nudge init.xml. This XML file should have the following information. A name which is just for reference and in this, in this case is the name of our package an implementation element that has the class that is implementing our interface. In our interface, in this case, it's the same interface that we've referenced before. I nudge in it. The final step is to say to the manifest MF file to look for these this service XML. We will add this with the following tag service component colon the folder and the name of the XML file that we are declaring. So to recap the nudge initialization action is mapped in the following order first create a package containing an interface and a class. The interface should return a single public method with the following object flow extend point command and the class should implement the interface. In our plugin XML file in the extensions tab we should have the following configuration flow extend point registry 
with a flow ID of dynamo.nudge, an extension point ID of nudge init command, and a callback service that's declared as our fully qualified interface name, colon, our function name. The next step is to create an XML file under a osgi-inf folder inside the project. And our XML file should have the following elements. A name that needs to be unique, an implementation with the attribute class, that's the fully qualified name of our class, and a service element with an interface attribute that is the fully qualified name of our interface. If we've mapped this successfully in our execute method of our class, we will receive an extent point object when the nudge is initiated. Our code is doing the following. It is first checking if there is an object of the type red app nudge init request inside our extension point command object. If there is, this data model object exposed by the nudge will give us the destination chosen by the agent at the time of the air availability. Our project has a local JSON file under the resources folder, which will check if the destination chosen by the agent matches the destination that we have in our file. If it does, and if the JSON file is not empty, we will create a nudge item object and pass it our a unique message located in the JSON file. Our red app nudge item will also have a red app nudge action object attached to it. The action object will have a unique ID and a label. The label is the label that the agent will see when they click on the action presented by the nudge. Our last task is to create a nudge init response object, add our nudge item object created on top to the response item object, and then the last task is to say to our extension point command to its responses list to add our red app nudge init response object. Please check the sample if you have any doubts on how to accomplish this task. Our first part of the project has been to show a message when the nudge initiates, in this case, this is our message. Our second part will be very similar, but to trigger the action when the agent clicks on click me, the button that we're exposing in the nudge. Similar to our first steps, we will need a interface in our nudge package with a single function, execute, that returns a flow extent point command and also receives the same type of object as a parameter. We will then need a class that implements the interface and then we will need a similar configuration that was done for the init nudge action under extensions, a new flow extent point configuration. Our flow ID is still going to be dynamo.nudge. Our extension point ID is going to change. This is now nudge action command. And our callback service will be our fully qualified interface name, colon, the function name, in this case, execute. 
We also need to map this new XML file in our manifest file under service component. We have our nudge init XML file map. We now also have our nudge action that XML map. If this, these steps are done correctly, when the user clicks on the click me button of the nudge, the action will be passed to this method, the execute method of our nudge action class that implements I nudge action. So this concludes our Red App nudge tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed the video and see you next time.